All right, so I've had a lot of requests to um, explain to users how to get your Raspberry Pi on the internet. So I'm assuming you've already been through my web server tutorial and you've got all that working and now you actually want to put it online. Now this actually has nothing to do with your Raspberry Pi setup. What you want to do is go into your router and uh, place it on there via um, port forwarding. Um, so what you basically do is go into your router settings. As you see I've already got it loaded up on my screen. And what you need to do is locate something called port forwarding. If you don't know how to find all this then just refer to your router manual or go to the manufacturer's website and they'll have instructions instructions for it there. Now as you can see I've done this already so I've got HTTP, HTTPS, SSH, um, SFTP and FTP. So this basically gives me the ability to upload files, access um, HTTP um, files and you know log into my uh, my Raspberry Pi remotely um, because what it's basically doing is it's saying right any incoming connection that's coming in on this port number um, which is port 80 for standard um, HTTP then this gets directed to this network address now I know that this is the network address of my Raspberry Pi um, so uh, that's 192.168.09 now yours will be different now in order to find this out what you need to do is and uh, what I'm basically going to do now is type in if conf if config. Now you get a bunch of different data here and um, what you're basically looking for here is there. So um, we've got uh, internet address uh, 192.168.0.9 so there it is. Um, that's your the IP address of your um, your Raspberry Pi. So if you just type in if con config um, at the command prompt to your Raspberry Pi, you don't have to use SSH, you can do this directly on the Pi itself, then you'll get the um, in the, the, the internal um, address there, which is uh, mine there. So once you've got that, you basically go back to your router page and uh, set up a series of rules. Now all I do is I set up a service, so if I want to pick up one of these um, protocols um, like say news for whatever reason um, then it gives you a port range um, protocols and uh, all you do is you type in your network address range there and click on add rule and it gets added down here so anything coming in on those ports now gets forwarded to your router now the next question of course is um, what is your external IP address and the easiest way of finding that is just to go onto your Windows computer on the same network or even load up um, um, LXD and, and load up your browser and just go to uh, www.google.com and type in what is my IP. And then you get your public IP address is, and you get your uh, your IP address listed there. So that's what that's the number you basically need to access it externally from the web. Now, um, if I want to uh, go to my server, all I do is type in HTTP colon double forward slash, and type in the address, um, which I'm going to hide because I don't actually want to put my thingy online. And there we go. So I get a very basic page saying it works. So this is my uh, my, my basic um, web server page um, demonstrating that it is working. So that's all you need to do to come in from the internet now. Now, if you want to assign that to a domain name, then you need to actually go and register a domain name with another company. Um, uh, as you can see, I use the provider one and one. Um, so basically all I'll do is I'll, I'll edit my uh, domain name which will be listed up here and I'll type in um, a new IP address so I'll type in my IP address there and or um, so this will be my IP4 address which will be the standard thing I type in and then click on OK and this will basically mean that anything going through to that domain name will then go through to the IP address you've already assigned. Um, now obviously different providers um, offer different back ends so you'll, you'll have to go through um, your, your particular um, domain providers back end system and learn how all that works but basically all you're doing is you're assigning a um, an IP address to an existing domain name and that's it it's no more complicated than that so once you know your internal IP address which you work out with um, if conf directly from the Raspberry Pi um, you then go into your router 
and uh, you set up port forwarding there. Um, if you're using uh, standard HTTP, then you just need to uh, forward port 40, sorry, uh, port 80. Um, if you're using HTTPS, then you also want to forward port 443, uh, and that will give you basic um, external web server functionality. And then all the router does is it says, right, anything coming in from the external internet and, uh, and saying um, it, it's communicating via that port number, then gets automatically automatically routed through to your Raspberry Pi and that's basically it so you don't actually need to do much any configuration really on the Raspberry Pi itself you just got to know um, your network placement then go into your router and have the router do all the hard work for you.